fans. Today we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about the new Phantom 4 from DJI and how the motors have been changed and how the blades attach to it because it is different than the Phantom 3. I've put them both out here for comparison side by side. The first thing you'll notice if you look closely is the motors on the Phantom 3 are actually mounted down inside the arm which gives it a secure mounting but it actually puts the motor closer to the actual bottom of the Phantom. This one has the motor mounted a lot higher on the arm, and it actually gives it better clearance above the drone. But the reason they did that was because if you fly these drones, especially in a stiff wind or at high speed, they'll tilt forward, and the front of those blades will actually make their way down into the shot, especially in a stiff wind. I've had that happen a few times where I'm trying to capture the perfect shot, and I'm flying into the wind, and the drone actually pushes those blades down far enough where you can see them, then you got to deal with that in post by cropping and everything else. So with the Phantom 4, having them higher on the drone eliminates the danger of those blades actually making their way down inside the, uh, the shot. Um, the second thing you'll notice immediately is that the Phantom 3 in previous generations use a motor that have a threaded stud on the top of it, and these threaded studs have um, clockwise and counterclockwise blades. The Phantom 4 doesn't have that stud, so it's got a completely different mounting system, and I'll talk about that in a second. So with the Phantom 3, anybody that's flown these for a while understands how to install the blades, but for people that are new to droning, I'll go through it really briefly. There's two styles of blades that you've got, a counterclockwise and a clockwise, and you'll notice there's a black dot on one and a silver dot on the other. Those match up with specific motors on the actual drone. And the way you can tell that very quickly is if you look at the top of the shaft, the ones that use the black blades will have a black dot on it. So it's pretty straightforward. And all you do to actually attach this is you hold the motor with your fingers, put the blade on it, and just spin the blade until it tightens down. There you go, nice and tight. Now, and the same thing for the silver blades, but they go in the different direction. So those are nice and tight. You'll notice that I'm only holding with my fingers and tightening, and I'm not cranking down on it. They actually give you a tool when you buy the drone that looks like a great little tool for attaching these blades. And a lot of people use this tool and squeeze tight and then crank down on the blades in there. Um, I don't ever use this tool to attach the blades. I do use the tool to remove the blades, but attaching the blades by finger tight is enough because the way the physics work, works behind this is the blades themselves, when the motor's spinning, the blades are actually affording resistance against that spindle. So when the blades are spinning, the blades themselves are actually tightening themselves on the shaft because of the resistance of the wind. And that's why there's clockwise and counterclockwise, because they're spinning in different directions. So there really is no need to tighten these any, any tighter than finger tight, because as it flies, it will actually tighten itself. That's why they can call them self-tightening blades. And I've actually, when I've flown for a bit of time on these, they've tightened so much that it's difficult to get them off. So like I said before, the reason I keep this with me is because I've been flying for a period of time on a long day. I'll use this to actually break that connection so I can get these blades off, and then I'll remove it and actually spin the blade off. So um, it's a good idea to keep it around. I, I do have friends that I fly with that like to use these to tighten the blades. I, I don't think it's a good idea because I think eventually with that much torque on it you'll crack the casing inside if you're going to have to replace the blades. So the blades that come with it are very good blades and you can find these online for two three dollars a piece. I would recommend carrying a couple of extra sets with you um, just in case you get one that's you know dinged or, or broken or it's wobbling. Sometimes these can get damaged carrying them around. Um, also make sure that you've got a complete set. So you want to make sure you have two silver and two black with you. I make the mistake occasionally of grabbing a bunch of blades going out to fly for the day and then needing a set and finding out that I've got one black and three silvers so I don't have a complete set of blades. So try and keep an extra couple of sets of blades with you. Now the Phantom 4 is, is a different mounting system entirely in the way the blades attach. And again, if you look at it closely, you'll see that the top of the motor doesn't have that threaded shaft anymore. What it's got instead is a series of three little knuckles that are up there that have a, an edge on the top. And when I looked at it first, and maybe I'm dating myself here, but when I looked at it, it almost looked like in the old days when we had 45 records, there was a little spindle you put in the middle of the 45 record to actually put it on a record player. And this has that same type of arrangement, strange as it sounds. So the way these attach, and again, the same thing here, if you look at the blades, you've got one with a black ring and you've got one with a silver ring. So again, clockwise and counterclockwise. If you look at the top of the motors, there's a black dot on two of the arms, and that's where the black blades go. And the way they attach, and I'll, I'll add some close-up photos of this so you can actually see what it looks like, but you basically push down, it's spring-loaded, and you just turn it a quarter of a turn, and that's it. It's attached. That's all it takes. The silver, same thing, just a different direction. Same with the front. This is a black one up here, so I'll do that. Tight, and then this one, which is a silver one. And that's it. And they're, they're attached. Now, it's not like it's any faster. I think, honestly, it's about the same amount of time to attach the blades. Um, I think it's just a more secure mounting system. I've used this quite a bit over the last couple of days. I've had zero problems with it whatsoever. I was a little hesitant in the beginning when I first flew it because it does seem like, my gosh, if these things just loosened up, the blades would come flying off and down comes the drone. But honestly, they haven't moved a bit, and, and they're, they're working out really well for us. I will say there is one downside to the new mounting system, and that's if you're a drone fan like we are, 
and you have a couple of generations of drones that you're flying, uh, they are different. So you're going to have to carry a set of blades for these, and you're going to have to buy all new blades for these. So um, they're not that expensive. When I ordered the drone, again, I, I ordered two extra sets of blades because even though I know this thing is supposed to be crash-proof, I'm going to find a way to run it into something and destroy the blades probably this week, and if I get video of it, I'll definitely post it. But um, I, I picked up the blades because, relatively speaking, they're not that expensive compared to the cost of the drone. And since it's such a new drone, I know that it's going to be difficult for a while to find stock on these things. Um, I think eventually you'll find them at third parties. will offer them, and they'll be available on the web. But right now, DJI is the only place that I found them. So I picked up a couple extra sets of blades. So that's basically the difference between them. Uh, we'll do other videos that talk a little bit more about the variety of blades that are available for the Phantom 3 and maybe some of the accessories and comparisons of the two drones in future videos. So happy droning, and I hope this was helpful.